Hello, everybody. Now we are going to start a new comprehension. My new scooter is on page four. My new scooter. It was amazing. I couldn't keep my eyes off it. The way it shone, shown is the past tense, shine. The way it shone in the light kept drawing my eye back to it. My dad noticed. Sophie, you have a scooter already, a really nice one. I know, but look at this one. It's so shiny and new, I said. It is great, but we have to get going. Come on, said dad. We left the store with me taking one last glance back. Glance me, quick look. One last glance back at the new scooter. I knew my scooter was nice and it still worked even though I'd gotten it for my birthday three years ago. I just couldn't stop thinking of that new scooter. A few weeks later, Dad and I were back in the store. The scooter wasn't on display where it was before, but as we passed the toy section, I kept my eyes open for it. There it was, with a big sail sign on, on it. I couldn't help myself. I ran right over to it that looked at the price. I know you've been thinking about the scooter a lot, Sophie. And you haven't asked for much from me or mom lately. You've been helpful around the house too. The sale price is pretty good, though it's still a lot of money. I can't just buy this for you. But if I pay for part of it, then lend you the money for the rest of the scooter and you promise to pay me back? Dad asked. Would you really? I said excitedly. I promise I will pay you back. I will. Sure, let's get it, said Dad as he picked up the box. As we were walking toward the registers, Dad asked me if I knew what it meant to borrow money. Go to page five. Yes, it means that I have to give it back to you, I answered. Dad responded, you're right, but you can give it back to me a little at a time. Right now, you get $5 a week for your allowance. Instead of using it for a little treat, you could, you could pay it back to me until you pay off your part of the scooter. It will take a couple of months for you to be done paying me back for it if you do that. Does that work for you? Sure, Dad, thank you so much. I can't wait to use my new scooter. I will pay you back with my allowance until I return all the money I'm borrowing from you today. You are the best. Now, go to page six, questions. Recount the story in your own words. You are going to say what happened in the story, but of course you are going to summarize it. Here, your answers are going to vary. You are going, for example, to say that Sophie saw a new scooter. It was a shiny one. She liked it very much. Her dad first didn't buy it for her, but lately they did buy it and she was super excited. Here's an example, for example. Okay, but of course your answers will vary. You have to use your own words. Now, question two. How do you think Sophie will feel when she gives her dad her allowance each week? And why? Here again, your answers will vary, but could include she feels obligated. Obligated means committed, that she has to. She feels obligated to pay back her loan. Loan is when I take money from someone and I have to pay back. Okay. She feels obligated to pay back her loan or another example, she will feel a little sad 
that she has to pay him back some of her allowance. Okay, you can say both. She feels obligated or she has to pay back her loan or she will feel a little sad that she has to pay him back some of her allowance. Question three. Sophie borrowed money for her new scooter. When are other times people might borrow money? Here answers will vary again, but we may say that for example, people borrow money if they are going to buy a new house or if they are going to buy a new car, for example. Question four. What does glance mean in the fifth paragraph? How do you know? To glance means to look at something very quickly. The same as we said. To look at something very quickly. They were walking. Why? How, how do you know? Now, they were walking out the store and she gave the scooter one last quick look before they left the store. Question five. What do you think Sophie will do with her old scooter and why? Here answers will vary but could include Sophie will give her scooter to a sibling or a friend. Now, go back to your booklet, page Eighteen. If you remember, last time we spoke about suffixes and we said that suffixes are added to the end of a base word. It is always added to the end of a word. Here, it's an exercise. Here we have to underline the suffix and draw a circle around the base or root word. Base or root, root means base, it's, it's the same meaning. Base or root word for each word. Now, <clears throat> let us see here. Loudest, loud is my verb, uh, base word. So loud, I'm going to circle loud and underline s s here is my suffix farmer far is my base word and er is the suffix restless rest is my base word and less is the suffix player play is my base word and er is the suffix mindful mind is my base Word and full is my suffix. Careless. Care is my base word and less is my suffix. Older. Old is my base word and er is my suffix. Nicest. Of course, nice is my base word and s is my suffix. I can't put another E here, it's going to be nicest, okay? So we drop one of the E's and then add the suffix E-S-T, S. Taller, tall, of course, is my base word and R is my suffix. Helpless, help is my base word and less is my suffix. Cheerful, Cheer is my base word and full is my suffix. Painter, paint is my base word and er is my suffix. Okay, then turn the page to page 19. It's the same. Underline the suffix and draw a circle around the base word for each word. Writer. Write is my base word and er is my suffix. 
shortest. Short is my base word and est is my suffix. Jobless. Job is my base word and less is my suffix. Closer. Close is my base word and er is my suffix. Coldest. Cold is my base word and s is my suffix. Hopeful. Hope is my base word and full is my suffix. Singer is the thing is the base word and er is the suffix. Painful. Pain is the base word and full is the suffix. Kindest. Kind is the base word and est is the suffix. Faster. Fast is the base word and er is the suffix. Joyful. Joy is the base word and full is the suffix. Younger. Young, of course, is the base word and er is the suffix. Now, refer back to your booklet. Go to page 22. Now, that's a writing task for you that you are going to write, okay? You are going to write a story about that. So, it's your homework. Corey thought that the fishing trip sounded boring. He didn't even want to go, but it turned out to be one of the most exciting days of his life. Write a story about the fishing trip and what made it exciting, okay? Don't forget that you have to write five paragraphs. Introduction, build up, climax, resolution, and ending. And don't forget the hill plan. Thank you so much. Okay, now. You are going to watch next Thursday a video about an adventure story. So I hope that you are going to really be excited and enjoy it. Okay, see you next time. Bye-bye.